Welcome to another On Enter Flash tutorial. In this series, I'm teaching you how to create a Flash based website. This tutorial is going to teach you about um, the way you should set up your Flash movie to create uh, a good website. What is a good layout? And not necessarily the layout and design, but I mean the layout on the timeline. So let's move over to the timeline and examine what I mean. Well, what I have here is one way of setting up a Flash website. There are so many ways. There are too many ways. You kind of just got to do it until you find a comfort zone or find what's best or what's easy for you. So get, uh, moving on, the first layer that I have, and I have it locked, is I named it AS3, which will house all of your action script. We're putting all of our action script in one layer. The second is our movie. I mean, excuse me, is our menu layer. The third is the content. And the content layer is the only one that's different than the other layers and the by it having individual frames as the others all have one long stretched out frame. Why does the content have different frames? Well, it's content in every page. This represents each page, so each page has its own thing going on. Um, and if you don't know how to create a new layer, you just go down to the new layer button, and uh, usually it'll have one frame, like this. Layer 5 has one frame. Let's pretend that this is the content page, and we want to make new content pages. What we could do is right-click, and then go up to... Uh, convert to blank keyframe which will create a new keyframe for us to put content on but that's way too much work what we can do is just press F6 or we can press F7 the difference is F6 create copies the previous frame F7 creates a brand new frame don't need layer 5 anymore just showing you how to do that okay and we have the background. Of course, you know, you have the background, you can change it if you want. You can make it exactly like content, meaning every every frame has a new uh, background or each page. And the menu, of course. Now, the menu is nothing complicated. You, you just want to make a rectangle and you want to put your buttons. Now, these aren't buttons yet. They're really just text. So all I have right now is text and a rectangle. This is the way we're we're gonna. This is the body, and we're going to put it soul, which is going to be the action script. Now m maybe you're wondering, well, how do I make one large frame? Well, I'll show you. Like I said, like I said, usually you'll just get one frame, and if you want to extend the frame, what you can do is click on that frame and press F5 until it is to your length that you desire. So that's how you do that. Let me just delete layer. Now this is the one way and if this is a pretty much straightforward way of doing it. If you want to do all the bells and whistles that that you see in those flash websites, well I would recommend the second way or the second layout that I've created or that I use. And we'll go to my second created movie. Oh, this is a mess. All right. Now, what we have to be mindful of is the is the layout that I've created, which is Action Script Three or our Action Script layer, the menu layer, just like before, and the pages layer. Um, and I'll explain exactly what's going on here. And the Action Script Three layer is where we're going to house all of our Action Script. The menu layer is going to have our menu, but unlike the other, all the pages are in one frame, so that means that we don't have to worry about making multiple uh, or one elongated frame. So what is so special about this pages layer? Well, the pages layer is that I've created my pages as a movie clip, and I'll just show you by double-clicking on the pages on the pages movie clip, and you can see in this I have a background and a content and the content can go from one frame to the next frame and I have different content so you have all of your pages into one movie clip 
downsizing your main timeline. Really cool to do. I would recommend. But what if we want to do all the cool transitions, like say a page moving from left to right to another page? Well, the way we do that is not put multiple pages in one page, but just create multiple pages. And I'll just give you an example right now. Just holding the Alt key and making a duplicate of this page. Now I have two pages. Of course I would have created a unique page, not just copying it. And I let's say I cop had another one. So I create three movie clips with content inside of them. And each of these content would be off of the stage. And using ActionScript and naming them, I can move them via ActionScript. So this is just the basic layout. So if you plan on doing a layout where the pages move from left to right, or I call that a train effect, or you have this elevator effect where the pages are on top of each other and they go up and down, then you want to do that and make sure they're all inside of the pages frame. Now before we get all crazy, let's uh every page that we create, we want to go to its properties and give it an instance name. So I would call this let's say home page. Well, I would call that the home page. I would name each and every one because inside of ActionScript that's the way that we communicate with each of these pages. So I could say page 1x or the page 1x coordinate to move over such and such an amount. So that's how we use ActionScript to communicate with the pages. Let's go back to the first layout that I've created. Now with our content we can actually do something pretty cool and helpful to us by clicking on one of our content frames going to our properties and once you have the properties open you should see frame and also see label and in the label we can use a name well we call it home page let's say now naming your naming your frames you'll get a little red flag let me zoom in for you that little red flag indicates that your frame is labeled. Now uh, F Flash does a few things with uh, labeling things like this frame is our action script frame and you'll see a little A you don't see one now but you will if you were uh, had any action script inside of it. So that's our basic layout. It's very important to understand that and how to create that since we know our layout and our setup in the next tutorial I'm going to be teaching you about the buttons and how to use them to make your flash movies work thanks for watching on enter flash if you like these tutorials don't forget to subscribe and rate comment and I go to my website to put a few pennies in my pocket by clicking on some ads that's always nice thank you very much